chapter chapter 34 verse number 14 34 verse number 14 Yeah, so when we decided that death should come upon him, nothing gave them any indication of his death hmm. except a creature of the earth that had eaten up his scepter. So when he fell down, the jinns came to know that if they had the knowledge of the unseen, they would not have stayed so long in the humiliating punishment. Hmm. What do you think? Nobody noticed that he is dead. Even the genie did not notice. And if you read the story behind it, we will find that the guy is always dead for a year and nobody noticed, brother. Oh my God. Yeah, I can show you the whole story if you want. I mean, if you like to read. You know, we can go to Ibn Kathir, which Muslims, they keep asking me to read Ibn Kathir, chapter 34, verse number 14. This is Ibn Kathir saying, Allah told us how Sulaiman, peace be upon him, died, and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn, who were subjugated to him to do hard labor. He reminded leaning on his stick same what happened to my grandfather exactly which was his staff as Ibn Abbas and this is the one Muhammad he hired to explain the Quran so he cannot be wrong may Allah pleased with him said and Mujahid and Hassan and by the way I will add Murrah eh, Muslims I add Murrah what you can do about it and Qutada and others he stated like for that like this for a long time nearly a year nearly a year when the creature of the earth, which was a kind of worms, ate through the stick, became weak and fell into the ground. And then it became apparent that he had died long time ago before. So what do you think now? I just think it's a fairy tale. It's like some, it doesn't make any sense at all. So why you don't leave Islam then? Oh my God. Well, this is the Quran. I just showed you the Quran. And now this is the explanation according to the scholars. The guy is dead for a year, leaning on his stick, and nobody noticed that he is dead. I show it to you from the Quran. Is the Quran interpretation too? Is the story in the Quran is interpretation? How long is going to take for a termite to eat a stick of a king? What do you think? Five minutes? Ten minutes? One no, month? I mean, like, the story doesn't make sense and at all. Like maybe Exactly, but this is Quran now. So even if the story in Ibn Kathir is not explained, the guy, he is a king. He have the best of wood to be his staff. Imagine, what do you think the king will use? He will use the cheap wood? You know what I mean? This is a king. And this piece will be covered by gold, even if it's made from wood. So how long is going to take the termite to eat it? This is Suleiman, the Muslim, they say that his, 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 his army uh, 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 was a 300 mile long. Yeah, he, they say that like he's the king of all jinns. He, yeah. he has a control. So, so imagine how, how, what kind of a staff he have in his hand. And now he is dead, holding the staff, and the termite start chewing it. First of all, people who come, the servants, and this is the house of a king. Nobody noticed that there is a termite eating the staff. I'm talking now about the Quran alone. Read with me carefully. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I'm seeing yeah the screen. So then imagine, we yeah. So forget about the story in the Kathir. There is, you are a king, and you are holding the staff, and you are dead. But there's termites are eating the steak and nobody notice. I mean, do you know how many servants this guy he have? Do you know how many times they clean the room he have? He is a king. This is not even, a, his, this is one of the most powerful kings supposedly. So how in the world they are eating the termite and nobody notice the termite? 
Maybe it was one termite only hiding behind the stake. <laughs> or maybe, you know, the termite, each time they open the door, they run away like a Mickey Mouse, you know, like, you know, like they hide. What do you think? Yeah, this is just like, it doesn't make any sense at all. 